In this video, I'm going to walk through creating a new console application in Visual Studio. Here I have Visual Studio 2017 opened up, and I want to create a new project. So I'm going to select File, New, Project. For this video, I'm going to show you building how we build a console application, and I'm going to select the console application under the .NET framework. Now, you may have a different set of templates available to you, you, but you should be able to find, if you select Visual Studio, C-sharp option up on the left, you should be able to find a console app template. Now the important things that we need to consider are the name of our project. I'm going to name this My New Project. When I select a name here, what I am doing is I am naming the namespace for my project. And the second thing we want to pay attention to is the location. Where are we storing the project files that we create? Um, Visual Studio will give you some default starting location, but you, if you want to choose a different location, you can browse and choose your desktop or wherever you want to put this project. When you've selected the proper template and given it a good project name, click OK. And now here we have our environment that we can work, work with. Now I want to point out a couple pieces to this environment. First of all, if your windows do not look like this, you can always, or if let's say you were dragging things around and you mess up your window configuration, you can always get back to a starting point by clicking, I've got to let it kind of get past it. We can click window, reset window layout. And by resetting the window layout, it will take you back to a good starting point that you can now work with. Now we don't need a toolbox window for a console application, so I will close that. Let's look at some of these other windows we have. On our right here, we have something called the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer will show you all of the files and resources that your project is using. For example, I am going to be editing this file called program.cs. The .cs stands for C-sharp. And we can see that CS file as part of our project. We also can see things like the namespaces that are referenced in our project. These are .NET libraries that we immediately have access to. And when we start a console application, the console application has selected a, a couple namespaces that it thinks we might find useful for our console application. All right, this big window here is our text editor. We can type whatever we want here, and this is where we type our code. It's just a text editor. And it is also a text editor, it's a smart text editor, so that if we create an error, a syntax error in our program, it can try to show us where the error is and give us some hints on how we might try to uh, fix the error. This properties window over here, we're not going to use much in our basic uh, tutorial series, but when we go into, when we start using, uh, building GUI applications, then our properties window will become more useful. And then down here I have this output window that will give us feedback when we try to run and compile our program. Alright, if I try to run my program, I can try to run it by clicking this Start button here. By clicking Start, the, the Visual Studio will first try to compile our code, and then it will try to run our code. So let's see it in action here. Now I have a syntax error here, and so when I try to compile my code, I get an, a warning. It says, compilation failed, there are build errors, and this error box down here is showing me kind of the description of the errors and which line they occurred on. So th we're, they're trying to give us hints on what's wrong with our code. So I can change this up and say maybe console.writeline hello world. And I'll add a little console.read key at the end. So adding a couple lines of code here, just typing it in. Let's try to run this again. Now in this case, it's trying to compile my code. And if it doesn't find any errors, it will execute my code. Sometimes it takes a minute or so. All right, in this case, the, 
program ran without errors, or the program compiled without errors, and what we see here is a console window. And in just a moment, we should see, there we go, we see the text hello world. So this is our this is what our program looks like when it is running. Now the console.read key is tell is waiting for us to press a key, and when I press a key, our program closes. So this is a very brief overview of creating a console application.